Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve word problems on arithmetic series. And this is the second part. I will put the link of the first part in the description box below. Let's take this example right here. What is the sum of the first 100 odd numbers? In order that this problem would make sense, let's write this out. So this would be like the first odd number would be one, and then the next one would be three, and then it's gonna be five, and then it's gonna be seven, then it's gonna be um, nine, and then it's gonna be all the way to the 100th term. So in this case right here, we will call this as our a sub one. So this is our a sub one right here that represents our first term. And then we have on the end here, we can go ahead and just write a blank here. And this would represent our a sub 100 because or we are asked to determine the first 100 odd numbers, or we can actually represent this as a sub n. This represents our first term. And this represents our last term. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna add all of these and whatever the sum is, that is the answer to this problem right there. In order to solve this kind of problem, there are steps that we need to follow. The first step is to determine the number of terms n, the first term a1, and the last term a sub n. So in this problem right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and label this as s1, that's our first step. So we go ahead and determine the n first, n represents the number of terms, so there in this um, case right here, we are supposed to be looking for the first 100 odd number. So that means there are 100 terms in this um, series. So then I go ahead and write 100 right here for the uh, number of terms. Then we need to determine a sub one or the first term. So I label that already. It's right there. It's one. And then we need to determine our a sub n, which is equal to a 100, because that is the 100th term, but we don't know what this is. So what is that value? So then we go ahead and solve this um, part here. What is this number? Again, it's uh, one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine plus 11, all the way to the 100th term. So then we go ahead and show the work here to determine for this value right here. So what is that 100th term? Using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub one, plus the difference times n minus one. So again, a sub n is the number that we're looking for, a sub n, which is a um, 100. So I go ahead and um, label this as a 100, and then a sub one is the first term. So we've uh, written that down here. So that is one plus the difference. The difference is how much does it grow by? So in this case right here, it's added to each time. So as you can see, it's added to, and this one is added to as well, and this one is added to. So the difference here is two, and then our n here is 100. So I go ahead and write 100 right here, and we also have that over here, and that is minus one. So then we go ahead and figure out a 100. So that would be one, plus two times uh, 100 minus one is 99. So then we go ahead and multiply this um, two together. So that would be one plus 198. And so this would come out 199. So our a sub 100, or this is also equal to a sub n. A sub n means the last term is actually um, 199. So then we can go ahead and put that number up here. So this is 199. So again, we already have a sub n or a sub 100 is equal to 199. And so we're now ready to move on to the second step. So I'm just going to label this as S2 right here. The second step is to plug in the value that we have in here into the formula to find for the sum. Again, the formula for the sum is... Okay, so this formula means that the sum is equal to the n, that's the number of terms, divided by 2, multiplied by the sum of the first term, a sub 1, and the last term, a sub n. And so we go ahead and plug in values. So our n here is 100, and that is over 2 times our first term, a sub 1 is 1 plus our a sub n or a sub 100 is 199. So then we go ahead and... Um, 
divide this, so that would be 50 times um, 1 plus um, 199 is 200. So that's 200 right here. So 50 times 200 is 10,000. So this means that if we add all of the um, odd numbers, the first 100 odd numbers, then it will have a sum of 10,000. That's it. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!